While the COVID crisis escalated tensions in America's public sphere, the sick and their families were fighting their own very private battles. In Fresno, California, Sofia Perez's prognosis was bleak after her doctors discovered a series of strokes. Her family wasn't allowed to visit, which was particularly hard on her sister Michelle, who worked right across the street from the hospital. So every day on my lunch, I would um, go and I would walk around the hospital to the critical care building where she was at, and I would just talk to her, and, and I would say, Sophie, I don't know if you can hear me, I don't know if you can feel me, but just know that I'm here, I'm right outside your building, you're not by yourself. I said, okay, God, if you're gonna take her, you're gonna take her. If you're gonna give us back to her, thank you. When I looked at her CT scan, I was extremely disappointed and stressed. At the same time, we said we have to move on and see what's gonna happen the next phase of her treatment. The next day, she started moving her arm in a purposeful way, which is really a good sign of brain function. Though they couldn't visit in person, the Perez family regularly talked to Sophia on Zoom, but she never talked back. Then, on May 14th, we did a Zoom, and uh, the doctor said, do you want to talk to her? And I go, talk to her? And she, they go, uh, he said, or the nurse that was in there with her said, yes, she can talk. Oh, yeah. I mean, that just blew me out of the water. And I jumped off the, the sofa, because I was yeah. on the other side, and I'm like, what? And then we called Michelle, because they were at the coast with the grandkids. And we were just shocked. We're like, she's talking. And he's like, she's talking. So everybody was like screaming and yelling in the car. And she can speak, like talk? Yeah. Uh -huh. I, mean, I mean, it was just a miracle. I mean, it was just literally miraculous uh -huh. because they didn't expect that. And we all talked to her, and I was like excited that she can talk. And I know she was OK. Dallas, baby. Dallas, baby. Dallas, baby. <laughs> All right, Miha, here's uh, Juju. She wants to say hi real bad. Hi, Sia. We love you. And I always told Sophia, to show me my heart. Hey, Miha, where's my heart? Love you. Where's our heart? Perhaps the most important factor in a patient's survival isn't medical care, but something more vital. Her family was encouraging her. Good job, Sophia. Come on, you can do it. And I remember her raising her hand, saying, I will do it. Like she's doing the heart. <laughs> She'll go like this. I love, Miss, I love you. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gone. And she's a fighter. I go, Miha, you're a fighter. <laughs> I love you, too. A glimmer of hope. Though her doctors were still unsure if Sophia would fully recover, her family was encouraged. We love we you. We love you. You be strong. And you're going to come home soon, OK?